Hello my chocolate friend and welcome to Chiva Yoga Live. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate from cacao beans or also from the cacao nibs, whatever you prefer or you have available. And on top we're gonna make a ganache fudgy icing. So this is the end result what is waiting for you in this video. So stay tuned. For our chocolate recipe, we need the following ingredients. If you have cacao nibs available, you can use cacao nibs, preferable roasted ones, or what I'm using is cacao beans. We're gonna use those cacao beans or cacao nibs and coconut oil plus our date paste. The date paste, if you wanna know the recipe, check out my other video. It contains only coconut milk and dates so check out this, how to make it, and yeah, let's get started. First, we're gonna roast our cacao beans. If you're having cacao nibs, you can skip that step and just jump to the next one. All right, now we're gonna roast our cacao beans. If you're not using the cacao nibs. So we have a wide, big frying pan. No oil using the pan on medium heat. And we add all the cacao beans, and most important, is now we start stirring and never stop you always want to keep stirring it can cause a little bit of smoke and maybe even some sound from the cacao beans we want that and they're gonna the shell gonna be really dark and toasty i'm roasting them for about 20 minutes maybe 15 to 20 minutes um, you can do a test open one and try it I think when they're raw, they're more like, they have this tardiness. They have a little chewiness. They're not so crunchy and you will see the difference once they're really good and done, but not burned. And they're super nutty, the flavor is amazing. After roasting our cacao beans for about 20 minutes, they look nice and toasty. So we want to like let them cool down for a moment because they're so hot before we start with the peeling process and maybe it gives you time to find some helper because peeling can take a while and it's probably the most labor intense part of the whole chocolate making process. So if you have a friend or a family member available who is willing to help, grab them real quick and then you can do a peeling party together. Grab yourself two additional bowls. If you're working with cacao nibs, of course you can skip that step like you. Um, if not, hopefully you have somebody who, who is helping you. Um, if not, enjoy the process. And it's worth to do it because what the result's gonna be is all pain is worth it. The whole work, I promise. So when they're cooled down a little bit, we just start peeling them. I always peel them like over one bowl and then just plop the cacao bean in the next one. So the cacao husk, what is left in here, don't throw it away. That's amazing for tea. If you haven't tried that, you definitely should give it a go. You boil some water and basically make tea out of it. It's super amazing and it tastes like chocolate. Basically chocolate tea. Here we got our cacao beans peeled. So next step is we want to blend it and make the chocolate happening. Now, very important note on the side, never add any water-based liquid. The oils will turn into this liquidy, chocolatey, creamy we want. And if you're adding water, you know that water and oil, they're not best friends. And so it kind of like clusters the oil apart from the water and the texture will become very clumpy. Um, and it's not this like nice and creaminess anymore. So here's 
empty. First it turns into this powdery form. It looks a little bit like coffee before it will turn into the liquid. And what I'm gonna add is a spoon of coconut oil. It just adds a little bit to the creaminess. We want to blend it at least for 10 minutes. The more we blend, the creamier and the smoother and the better the flavors are coming out. So be patient and really blend it well. It's one of the key points you want to consider in this process, that the blending process is very, very important. Okay, let's keep blending. So this is basically just the cacao beans with coconut oil. We blend it for about 10 minutes and you see how the texture is super soft and liquidy and creamy. This is the purest form of chocolate you can have. It's quite bitter, so because there's no sugar in it, uh, what we are used how chocolate should taste like, it's always super sweet, but this purest when you add liquid, it's going to change the texture and that's exactly what we're going to make because we're going to have this ganache, what we're going to use, we can use for different recipes, you can use it for toppings, you can use it, I use it for peanut butter cups, for the brownies I make. Now we want to make our ganache or our fudgy icing and I have here the date paste, check out the recipe if you haven't already, how to make it with coconut milk and dates. Very simple and easy. And we're gonna mix the dark pure chocolate with the dates. So this is gonna make our icing and can be used as a base for so many desserts and just super tasty recipes. Mix it well together. Et voila, and finish is our chocolate ganache, fudgy icing here. This texture is really nice and creamy. Um, and we're gonna use it for all kinds of recipes to make some peanut butter cups. And also check out my video, how to make brownies with that amazing ganache. Et voila, here we have our goodness of chocolate ganache, fudgy icing, finished, and we want to see how it tastes, right? Mm. It's amazing. You definitely should give it a try and use it now for all kinds of recipes. So make sure to check out my other videos, especially the brownie one. So thank you so much for joining in today and watching. Have a good time. See you soon. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and of course click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Hope to see you next time. Namaste.